All right, guys, how's it going? Awesome Soul here, and welcome back to Xenoraptor. It would appear that you guys liked the first look, and I will go ahead and dive into more of the game and show it off. So, Mars is where we're heading to next, and as you can see, I might have possibly played it already. I'm not saying if I did or not, but, uh, okay, maybe I did. And what I actually got from it was this the plasma variant. So I've applied it to the chain gun and what it basically does is it stuns enemies although there are some other changes to it. It doesn't have quite as tight a spray and it produces a, uh, a lot more heat than the regular chain gun. However, I have been uh, enjoying this one a lot better just because it does have the stun effect. It is a lot more tactical and speaking of overheating I gotta get uh, those coolant packages pronto, because there we go. Because, uh, like I said, I'm I'm running some pretty high heat weapons right now. Although I don't know if there are any uh, higher heat weapons in the game, because I don't really have that many weapons, unfortunately. So I guess there we go. Okay, cool. I was like, where is, where's the last guy? Anyways, uh, we got these swarmers coming in. And seems to be a lot of melee early on in this level. But later on, uh, well, things definitely heat up a bit. And if you haven't noticed, there are a uh, lot of asteroids around. Which is a nice touch, actually. The Earth map didn't really have that. But it's something you definitely have to be careful of, because... If you're not careful, you can run into them. And they also have uh, physics to them, which is pretty cool. Because if you shoot at one for long enough, it will start being pushed. And uh, it will uh, get some good momentum on it. And you can actually use this to your advantage or your detriment. So uh, if you're not looking where you're going and you run into a very fast-moving asteroid, you will uh, most likely die then and there. So there we go. The stun effect is very visible on the larger targets. Not so much on the small ones, but that's also because they uh, die very, very quickly to my uh, plasma barrage. So let's see if we can't go and pick that up. There we go. Nice. Yeah, I see what I'm talking about. Even those small ones would deal a significant amount of damage. There we are. Nice. Okay. So... When it comes to the scatter shot, that was something I actually unlocked when I completed the Earth campaign. I have tested it out, and uh, I don't know how I feel about it. I think it's a little bit too similar to the chain gun. That's more so in theory, because I haven't really tested it out in campaign. I've done it in Endless, and it seemed kind of the same, really. Oh, damn. Direct hit. All right, so let's boost on up to... Where are you? Where'd you go? Uh, okay, there we go. Nice. So yeah, the uh, sniper camera is actually quite helpful. Thank you for pointing that out in the comments from last video. Can't remember your name off the top of my head, but uh, I wave in your general direction, so thank you. There we go. All right, this should be the boss now. I have a uh, good amount of health. Sniper camera is definitely good for boss fights. That's for certain. Uh, that's right, you can actually destroy those things. Alright. Oh, nuts. Okay. Let's try this again. It certainly ain't easy, that's for sure. Alright. So there are, it seems like, two bosses per level. That's what it was in the Earth map. And, uh, well, you know, I'm not saying I, I beat this level or anything, but, uh, yeah, I did. And, uh, yeah, there are indeed two levels, or two bosses, rather. And, for whatever reason, I didn't have a lot of trouble with them last time, but this time around, it seems to be a little bit more tricky. Maybe I'm not using enough missiles, you know, that's probably <laughs> the, uh, answer. When in doubt, missiles. There you go. So you can actually stock up on health above your 
actual starting amount, so I guess it's like uh, an over shield almost from Halo, if that makes sense. Uh, there we go. Wave one complete. Uh, I'm doing a bit better this time around, I think. I just have to make sure that I don't take any unnecessary damage. And when in doubt, missiles. Gotta remember that. Hey, speaking of missiles, there we go. Okay. Not sure if I can actually destroy those purple looking ones. I think they are... I'm not sure what they are actually. They seem to be missile-like, but also have some sort of modifier on them. So maybe they're modified missiles. That's probably what they are. Careful of the asteroid and get slammed into uh, this thing. Lovely. See, that's what I'm talking about. You can actually use the asteroid to your advantage. I don't know if it's just me, but uh, I seem to be progressing a whole lot faster. It's clearly the missiles, that's why. So yeah, take out the big high priority targets first, and then clean up the little guys later. Seems to be a good plan. 24, that's kind of my starting amount, I think. Please die. Don't hit me. Thank you. There we go. And get out of here. Nice. Okay. You can go. Oh, yeah, actually. So your explosions can actually push the meteors. That's interesting. Something you ought to watch out for. And it's uh, a definite sign that you've been in an area when all the asteroids are pushed out of it. Okay. Who's coming? Alright, so those ones have, uh, I assume, boosters? Or is that just their normal speed? I don't know. Well, look at me. I didn't make the game. Oh god. Asteroids. Coming in. Uh, there we go. Okay, cool. So I have seen a few other things when it comes to variants. And one actually was that gravity wave type weapon. So... It kind of manipulates gravity around it, and I think all of them actually pull things towards you. So, for example, if I had a gravity pull on the chain gun, all targets would come towards me. And if I had gravity pull on the rail gun, since it's an explosive weapon, I assume it would possibly detonate and create like a little gravity vortex for a few seconds. Or maybe it would actually pull things towards me, which would be interesting, to say the least. Not sure how effective that would be, but... I don't know, maybe there's a good build for it. There you go, get out of here. Oh, damn. Unnecessary damage. Not liking this. Alright, so let's boost on up here as fast as humanly possible. Missiles away, get rid of their missiles, and boost to those health packs. Pronto. Alright. Let's die. Health, please. Thank you. Okay. So, boosting and missiles is what I definitely need. There we go. Leave me alone. Thank you very much. And sticking around the asteroids is a good idea. There you go. Awesome. No missiles for you, and you should be very dead very soon. Nice, there we go. Energy beam available in hangar. Huh. Hold on. So you don't... It's not like a... Huh, okay. I thought it was unlocked per, per level. Like, th that boss would always give the plasma. But no, I guess beating a boss will always give you an item. Unless, of course, you've unlocked everything. So that's good to know. Huh. That was the laser beam, if I remember correctly. Short-term memory and all that. But that's the uh, pains of YouTube. You're focused so much on actually talking that you kind of have to multitask, and most of the time you miss what's going on on screen. All right. Never stop spraying and praying. They're spraying. Oh, I'm spraying. They're praying. There we go. 
That's the quote. For those of you who actually uh, know the quote I'm referring to, good on you. Please uh, post it down below because I would like to know if anyone actually remembers that show. All right, so far so good. We've got you up there. Nice, okay. Do I still have, yeah, I still have a sniper camera on. Okay. Oh dear, what kind of weapon is that? I'm sure I've faced that weapon before. Swarmer missiles, possibly? I'm pretty sure there is a Swarmer missile variant. Basically what it does is, instead of uh, six missiles as your max, it basically releases a crap ton more. I think it was 24 off the top of my head. Please no. Alright, cool. I can actually destroy those too. Okay. Get out of here. And grab the health. Nice. Okay. Wave 7. I think there's eight waves to this level, if I remember correctly. So start picking up the coolant while I've got a few seconds breather. That's always a good idea. Missiles away. Never can be stingy on your missiles. That's uh, something I usually end up doing in most games. Regardless of genre. If there's some sort of currency or what have you. In this case, the currency is missiles, but uh, you got the idea. So, if there's anything like that, generally I will hoard money and... At the end of the game, I'd be like, oh, I have all this money left over. Perhaps I should have used some. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Now, is wave 8 the boss, or is wave 8... Okay, no. Boss is after this one. Let's go. I think that was... Yeah, that's the fire guy. Okay. So there is indeed a fire-based weapon, and... I... Oh, yes, it actually does a, a dot effect. So damage over time, if you don't know what that means. go. Those chain gun guys. Very annoying because you can kind of dodge pretty much anything else, but this one is always going to deal damage to you. I mean, it's chip damage, but it's still damage nonetheless, and uh, I'd prefer not to take any. <laughs> I don't know about you guys. Alright. go. Not looking too hot here. Uh, boost up to the health. Very nice. Get out of here. Please leave me alone. Wow, I flew right into that barrage. Dodge like a champ. Okay. Oh, health. Yes, please. How did I miss that? Whew, okay. Alright. This is not gonna be good. I'm fighting the boss, I think. Yeah, there we go. And there's three of them. Not good. All right, just keep spraying. Try and focus them one at a time, I guess, would be a good idea. Oh, boy. Oh, so many projectiles. These things can just plow through the asteroids like they're nothing. Come on. There you go. And, yeah, they turn into little mini versions of themselves at the end here. All right, missiles away because I need coolant. Nice. There we go. Extended sensor array. Ooh, that actually changes the shape of your head, which is pretty cool. But, there we go. So, that will end the episode for today. I'm sure it's been a bit of a long one. Hopefully you don't mind. And next time, assuming you guys still like the series, I will head on to Phobos and see what happens there. So, with that, guys, I've been the Awesome Soul. I thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Take care.